Hello, and welcome back to the October of Dark Souls. For a game shampoo, I am your host once again, Zyda Rose. As you can see, we're back at the Firelink Shrine. I found where I'm supposed to go. Even more, I know what I'm supposed to do. At least I got a good idea. I need to go to one of those places that's not a whole ton of fun. At least the first time. Subsequent uh, visits get more enjoyable. Uh, I can pull that lever to call this ride back up. So I would need that if I died. Since uh, there aren't any bonfires around here. In fact, much of what I'm going to be looking for, well, I can't pull off just yet. Also, that's going to be normal down here. Armando Ruins is definitely where I wanted to go. And all those hollow are just round. Wait. Whoa. Cut off guard there. Alright, that's the crestfallen knight. Well, hope you didn't have anything good. See, he fell to his doom before I could kill him. And that does tell me that this is the right way to go. This is where I want to go. Okay. Ah, that's a big hint right there. I need to make sure that I virgin stone ah Right, I need to change my equipment. Da, 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 da. I need the purging stump at the transient curse. Not going to use that until I see the things I know I need to encounter. Well, the things that I'm going to inevitably encounter. It's one thing knowing that I'm going to encounter ghosts. It's another thing to encounter them. Also, for this initial run, well, the area is going to be full of water. Actually... Uh, change equipment. Alright, ring of steel protection. Let's do myself a favor. Equip the covetous serpent ring. And... Wait, the symbol of avarice, doesn't this? Hmm. Sound for the sun slightly rises. I'm described, but also... Curse of the Branded. Let's equip that. At least for now. Ah. That's what that curse is. It drains my health. I'm going to be dealing with that throughout this. Then, and I'm in a completely new area. I'm fairly blind. Oh, right. Let's 
see, that is very dead end. You can head toward the main building. Nothing interesting. What's through here? Oh, some ghost. Whoa. Seeing curse. Seeing curse. Seeing curse. Transient curse. All right. It's all very helpful, honestly. And yeah. Of Avarice. Let's go back to my thief mask. Honestly, just having the covetous gold serpent ring should help. You. And I need to change weapons briefly. Because I'm in too tight of quarters for my normal weapon. Burying dagger. Alright, that's very helpful. In all honesty, it is. I'm not... Well, at least not intentionally being facetious. Oh. I just wish I had something that gave me a better idea of a few things. Right, more of the transient curse. That is key here. That curse is how I'm able to interact with the ghost at all. Either I need to use the transient curse or I want to be cursed. I mean, I can reduce the damage I'm taking if I equip some particular items. But I'm not worried about that right now. You. Okay, fall back. Come on. There we go. So, one of the biggest things I want to do right now main reason why I'm after the things I am is uh, so I don't need the transient curse anymore. I just have weapons that'll work. Okay, that looks like a plummet to your doom situation. This just... That looks greater than what I can jump, and I think I came from there. Oh. You. Yep, plummet to your doom sort of situation. Ah. That's going to be a lot of what I'm dealing with here. Shrine appearing here because it was the last place that I rested. I should probably actually rest here. Level up. Nope. Okay, nothing horrid. There we go. That should take care of things. So I need to head over to, yeah, 
Okay, this is the closest place. I can safely drop. Wow. <laughs> and I am genuinely into the new Londo ruins. Oh yeah. Here's where I need that lever. Come on. Pull the lever. Huh. Yeah, I'm gonna be hollowed for a fair while now. Cause this is not gonna be an easy area to deal with. Down we go. We are back in the depths. Really annoying that I'm sent all the way back here. Huh. You can see my corpse from here. Alright. Huh. Okay. Onwards. Alright, it's a pretty safe place to use that item. That way the curse... Now oh, the boon of having the curse is in place. Even before I need it. Alright, the most common drop these ghosts are going to have for me are going to be the curses. Which is very good. Because, oh boy, do we need a lot of them. So... Alright. It's not going to take me too long to get back there. Though I am going to need to be on guard just because I'm dealing with ghosts. Literally going to be appearing all over. They can rise up out of the floor, they can sink in from the ceiling. That isn't fun at all. That part. Now, I can actually reduce the damage I'm taking by using my steel ring. Oh, my Ring of Steel Protection, I believe. Is the full name? Wait. Traption does not move. Hey, that actually clears something, apparently. All right. Wow, I'm trying to backtrack as best I can, being in an area I've been in all of once. Well, now twice. Should be pretty close to my corpse at this point. Oh yeah, I want to kill these. Especially I want to kill these. Is the female ghost. They are. Actually, can drop the better of the uh, cursed items, as it were. Alright, then down we go. Alright, 16 of these transient curses. Okay, collect. Uh, oh. Ha ha. It's a little confusing, yes, that swinging and essentially hitting something through solid material. Actually, it looks like there's a Ledge here. Village corpse for more of the curses. Huh. Let's 
see any shortcuts around here. Oh man. Just knowing what I need to deal with. What I am dealing with. Wait, is that a... Yep. Oh, wow. Okay, gotta retreat back. This, yes, I've got a good sword fighting sort of stuff. But still, I don't really want to be caught off guard and there's a very real chance more ambushes. Village corpse. Ooh, for a firekeeper soul. Those are rare and very useful. Not sure what happened there. Uh, I guess my figure twitched. About the only reason that would happen. Okay. Through. Back to solid ground. Explore this a little more. Hmm. Yeah, most of this isn't really going to be open to me right now until I find, to my understanding, a particular merchant somewhere in here. Find this merchant, I'll get what I need to drain the water in the area. And I under and Dark Souls is one of those things I've done lore dives on, so I know what's coming. It doesn't make it any easier to really predict how it's going to feel to do something. But still, there's a lot yet to explore. <laughs> I definitely chose the right game for October. I can say that. Now, oh. hello, undead. Oh. Come on. And yeah, I'm very, very much enjoying getting all these souls. That's good. It's always good. But, uh... Gotta find particulars here. Some of this I just don't quite know 100% what I'm after. <sighs> but the way things are, I should just worry about this next time. So, this has been Zyda Rose for Game Shampoo, I certainly hope. You are enjoying the Dark Souls of October. <laughs> this is especially appropriate given where I am and what I'm going to be fighting. I'm going to be fighting a lot of them, Ghost. Uh, I think I want to take on that. So, let me start working on killing this thing. Now, as always, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to keep up to date with both the walkthrough and the Let's Play goodness that we offer. Come on. There we go. J O. I did that wrong in so many levels. So please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hopefully I'm going to survive my little silly excursion there. Yep. Oh. Alright. One last bit of fighting you'll get to see. So, <laughs> take care and I'll see you next time.